we're going to help you decorate at home in a safe way. And we have Cheryl Najafi here from CherylStyle.com, and she has got some great ideas. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for this having me. This is just excellent. I came in here and look at this. This is actually our punch bowl, and we have dry ice to make it that eerie, creepy feel. And, and that's just uh, colored water, right? It's colored water for today, but you can use your punch and put in the dry ice and start this effect. Should we do this one to show folks how it works? Absolutely. You now, have, the oops. water has to be warm or should be, doesn't it, to give this effect on top? Yes. You don't want to cool your punch before you put it in the bowl. Um, room temperature sodas work well Okay. because the warmer the water is, the more of this creepy, eerie look you'll get. I like it. And by the way, you don't want to touch dry ice. No, actually, it's um, it'll burn your fingers, mm -hmm. so you want to use tongs or rubber gloves. But if that was a punch, that's okay to drink? Yes, you'll use a ladle and spoon it out with, with an implement. I like that. That is really spooky looking. Talk about some of the other things. Uh, I said, wow, that looks like a, uh, like a scary claw or something, but that's not what you intended it to be. Well, it could be some scary monster feet, or we tried to make it look like witch's brooms for our sandwich like right here. I like it. What is that inside, the cream cheese or There's something? There's cream cheese inside the pretzels, and um, you can get all of these ideas from our website. Website. You can download templates and the whole spooky and kooky party if you like on CherylStyle.com. That is a PB&J. My goodness. It is. And all we did was just create this fun little witch's hat and stuck some feet in her so that the kids could come in and eat something healthy this holiday. Gosh, I want to come to your house. What about the fruit over here? Um, what we are doing is trying to come up with a different way to decorate with all the fuss because carving pumpkins can take forever. Right. So instead, we just wrap it up in this mummy um, wrap gauze. that's gauze, gauze and add right. some googly eyes. And then <laughs> if you kind of think gingerbread house where you use icing or hot glue, you can decorate the melons to look like Frankensteins or, or owls. And it's just a lot quicker and faster and the kids don't get bored waiting for all the pumpkin flesh to get out of the pumpkin. That is terrific. By the way, I hear that Martha Stewart was at your house this week. She was, How yes. How was that? How it was, did that happen? Well, it was quite an honor. We've, we've seen her a few times in New York, and we've always offered her this invitation that if she's ever in Arizona to look us up. And I got a phone call at 8.30 in the morning saying she was she was headed to Arizona and will be at my house at dinner that night. Well, how was that? It was absolutely wonderful. She's so gracious. And I practice what I preach, and that is take all the stress off the host and put your energy into the guest having a good time, and then you're not the you're not the center of attention. Your guests are. How did you not get yeah, nervous? I, I apologize. Say, I mean, Martha I Stewart's coming to your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, were you nervous? Well, my friend said it's like you're entertaining the queen, and yeah, I said, no but you know, you just you try not to worry about being perfect and just focus on how your guests are going to experience the evening. So we did a few little things that were honoring her 20th anniversary, and put those items on the table, and it helped break. The ice and warm the mood, and we um, focused on on Martha and, who, and her 20th anniversary, and and I asked her a lot of questions about becoming a new entrepreneur, sure. and she was really helpful helping me get my business started. Good. Wow, really? well, that's a great person to talk Heck to. Yeah, boy, dinner well, these are Stewart. such cool Aren't ideas. They, though? Isn't Isn't this a great idea? I, the kid, can you imagine kiddos coming to your house and see something uh, like this? I know it. They're never going to want to go home. It's, it's like you're the head of the party. You're yeah. the coolest mom ever. By the way, very is dry cool. ice very expensive? It's not. It's about two dollars a pound, actually. Oh, that's nothing. All right, uh, go to CherylStyle.com. Cheryl, thank you so much. Terrific ideas. We will be right back after this quick break. Thank you. <laughs>